Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. So, today is Monday, and the date is 11th of October 2021. Okay, today we are going to take a new lesson. We're going to talk about our environment and how do our environment changes and these changes will affect the living things. So, so we can start, who can tell me what is environment? What is environment? Who can describe for me the environment? Is have uh, uh, animals and uh, plants. Good, animals, plants. Um, yes, animals, plants, only animals and plants, and dirt. Yes, dirt. What about the sun, the air? It's all sun, about... air, and uh, very good. So, people, so all the living things and non living things together in one area. I want you to think what are the changes can happen to the environment? Huh, think. If it's if the environment means the trees, the land, the animals, the people, the water, the sun, the sand. So what are the changes can happen to this environment? Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe the land, maybe the land is, uh, is not good. Okay, boy. Okay, take 30 seconds to think about it. 30 seconds only. The light. I'm going to ask you again, Yafaris, after 30 seconds. Hi. Miss, I know the answer. Okay, so, huh, what are the changes can happen the, to the environment? The, all the animals get together, it's a community. Okay, very good. When the animals get together, they make a community. Okay, what can happen to their environment? Give me changes. Something will be different. Huh, how it can be very different. Maybe one day from other one okay maybe they will die very good okay how this changes uh, uh how they will know this change how they will see this change huh okay the, now the omnivore the omnivore eats uh, an animal Okay, let's talk about the animals. I think you eat a rabbit. Okay, how about the sheep? Sheep will only eat what? Grass. Grass, okay. And grass is from part of the environment, is that right? Grassland. Yeah. Okay, the grass, yes, they uh, they live in the grassland. Excellent, yeah, yeah. Okay, what if this grassland been empty from grass and there's no more grass. Oh, the sheep they will die. They will die. Excellent. The sheep will die. So this is a change. Yeah, Fahudi, do not open the book. I want you to look at the screen and listen to the teacher. And I just opened the book. Yes, very good. Do not open. Hi, Habibi. So this is a change. If the grass disappeared and no more, how will the grass disappear? Maybe there is some fire. Will eat the grass all, or maybe there is a tornado took away all the grass. So these are big changes. Big changes will affect the environment. Then living things on this environment will be happy or sad? 
Sad. Yeah. And there are some changes can make uh, living things happy. Think about something. Can you think? What are the good changes in our environment? So now we know the environment is about our, the living thing around us and non-living thing around us. What are the changes that can make you happy or what are the changes can make you sad? If you are planning to go to the beach, okay, this weekend, imagine that. What if on Thursday and Friday we had rain? Is this a change or not? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What will happen? Yeah. Are you going to, to go? The beach? Yeah. Happy. You, but you are not going to go out. You're not going to the beach anymore. Why? Because there is a rain. Okay. Um, Why? It's better to go in a beach when it's sunny, a sunny day. Yes, yeah, very good. Very good. Okay, guys. Today we are going to learn some changes that can happen to our environment and it will affect our living things. Why it will affect living things? Because our environment is fragile. What do I mean by fragile? Ecosystem. Okay, a fragile ecosystem. The word fragile, what does it mean? The word fragile. Plants, animals, and all and share the same environment. Okay, let me tell you. Fragile. Wood and uh, plants. Okay, we're you, you guys are talking about the ecosystem. I am talking about the word. <laughs> See, I'm underline it. This word. Fragile. Fragile means the opposite Great. of strong. What is the opposite of strong? Weak. Weak. Yes, weak. Also fragile means weak and not very steady. Okay? It's uh, not uh, strong enough. So... Let's say... Habibi, do not open the book. Eyes on the screen only. Okay? You don't need the book, your mama, today. Are you? Very good. So fragile means not strong. It means weak. It means that it is changeable easily. It can be changed easily. We learned about ecosystems. Ecosystem, when you talk about a forest ecosystem, a, a, a desert ecosystem, or you are talking about... Um, <coughs> ocean ecosystem okay so in an ecosystem plant animals and other living things share the same environment do you know that they share what the same environment excellent what happens environment. If environment change hi oh, yeah what will happen if this environment change look at this picture look at this picture it's fragile Fragile. Okay, fragile means uh, uh, weak, but okay, now it's weak. What happened over here? This is a forest. Strong winds have destroyed uh, this forest ecosystem. Very good, very good. Now, Faris, what happened over here? What happened in this picture? Oh. The trees come down. Very good. Now, Khaled, tell me why the trees are down. A strong wind. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Yad. Yeah, yeah. I need to see if everyone understands or not. Hi, Fahad. What happened over here? Hi, Fahad. What happened over the here? Trees fall. Hmm? The trees fall. Why the trees fall? People took them away, or what, or who? They, the what is called? Hmm. I forgot what is called. 
it's fine. I read under uh, the picture. Students have destroyed this forest ecosystem. Excellent. Strong winds. Ecosystem. Very good. Strong winds. Okay. Strong winds. Ecosystem. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Strong wind. The wind is part of what? The environment. Is that right? Yeah. Now the environment. Yes. Very good. It's part of the environment and it changes. So this is an environmental change. What do I call it? Environmental change. Environmental change. When part of the environment change, it will affect the ecosystem definitely. Like this one. This is an example. When the wind uh, uh, have been very strong, it destroyed all the trees in the forest. Why? Because this ecosystem is fragile. Because this ecosystem is weak. Do you see? Do you understand? Can you give me another example of environmental changes? Something like this one, strong winds. What else can happen? What else can happen? E ecosystem. Okay, give me a, a change will happen, Iyad, and it will affect our ecosystem or the or this ecosystem. Oh, Habibi, only a strong wind? No. What happened to the environment to change our ecosystem? The, oh. the, pe the, wind the people the can't the breathe the a lot. The forest because the trees is not strong. Very good, Ya Muhammad Mandili, because the, the, the trees are not strong. Very good, because the ecosystem is fragile. The ecosystem is weak. Very good. Okay. What else will happen? Only the trees fall down? Who else and, can die? Hmm. And the grass and has the been grass. destroyed. Very good. What about what about living things? They live in the forest. And can grass. They will die. Yes. They I die. Or plants. They may die when the trees are falling down. Maybe the tree can fall uh, uh, up. May definitely. Maybe the strong grass. Very good, very good. Okay, what about other animals that they live over here? They may also die, not because of the tree is falling upon them, but because they will lose the resources that they eat from or they make homes. Uh, sometimes they make shelter upon the trees. Is that right? Who makes shelter upon the trees? Birds. birds. So birds will they have talk. to move. Yes. So now birds will have to move from this forest and find another forest. Is that right? And they may die. Yeah. Away. So environmental changes are really serious. They may be very, very strong on our fragile ecosystem. All right, I want to go to the next page and let's take a look at this. The... I know the page, the page is 183. I, I, but I want you to look at the screen. Is it possible to look at the screen, please? You want to open your book, boys? If you want to no. open your book, I'm going to write down the page. It's fine. It's page. I opened it. 183. Okay. Now take a look at these pictures. What do you see? I, thought, uh, I see yes. Yes, a yes, grassland yes. and the trees. Yes. And I see a, and I see a wall. And What's inside here? And the, the, the big one or inside here. And I see a lot of trees have been destroyed. What about this one here? The yellow the thing. Trees There's are, fire all over the place. Fire. 
Excellent. The trees are on fire. The trees are on fire. And I see cones. Cones. Pine okay, cones. Pine, pine cones. And inside Very the good. cones, we have seeds. Very good, dear Faris. Thank you, Iyad. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, boys. Now, Muhammad Mutawakkil, do you think this fire will make an environmental change? Yeah. Of course. How? Yeah. Yes, definitely change the environment. How? Because fire, fire has become not good. Okay. The, plant, uh, the plants die. The plants will die. What else? Only the plants the will trees. die. The animals that live there will die. Definitely. That. Okay. What about the air? What will happen to the air? I need you to tell me. Air is well and also the fruit. The air. What will happen to the air? Hot. Hot only? Only hot? No. It'll look at the, be burned. The, okay, look at the uh, uh, black. It's become black. Okay. These, this black smoke will make what? Air, uh, air, pollution. It. Yes, it will make air pollution. Excellent. So animals will die. If they didn't get burned, they will die from the air because they cannot breathe. If the rabbits will give birth, it will die. Yeah. So, this a wolf, not a rabbit. So a fire and a strong wind can affect the environment or not? Come on, guys. It will affect the environment or not? Oh. Fires and strong winds, as we studied, they will affect the yes. environment. Yes. Yes, they will change the environment. I want you to read with me. There is some negative things, bad things, comes out from the fire and there are some good things that comes out of the fire can you think of anything good can come out of the fire uh, in the wood. wood okay what is the good thing about having a fire there must be something so we can be warm okay it that can and be we can cook food what about the fire in the forest, Yeah, yeah. Think about the fire in the forest. Hmm. You can't think of anything? Now let's read. Positive things. Just a second. Positive. The positive mm. thing about fire in the woods is that fires will clear space for new plant growth. So new plants can grow. They will clear the space. So new plants will Where grow. Where are you reading? Uh, do you see here in the same page four squares? Yes. I am in the first positive square. This is positive, see? Oh. Oh, yes. Miss so and the corn. And the cones when uh, when come uh, uh, like this as well maybe we cannot eat it. Oh, you cannot eat it. But what will happen from the heat? The pine cones will let the seed out. All the seeds yeah. will be out, and some like pine this. cones only open uh, 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 open when fire heats them. Not all of them. And what will happen when it's uh, open? Huh? It will uh, fall down the seed, the seed and seed. become another uh, corn. Excellent, and it no, will become pine. another plant. Another plant will grow. And when the fire uh, 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 fell down all these trees, it will clear the space for another plant to grow. Do you know the ashes? No. You don't know the ashes? When something burns and it turns to what? 
and turn to something gray. Have you ever seen a paper uh, on fire? No. I, I, I see. No. I see. I see. I see. When, I see when, when the fire too. Finishes, I see. Okay, when the fire finishes, I don't. I will. I will let you watch on t on uh, YouTube right now. But tell me, do you know this... it turns to what? It turns to the gray color. This gray color, when every the whole thing is burned, it turns to ashes. It turns to ashes. It turns to what? Ashes. These ashes are chemical changes. Why chemical changes? Because it completely changed. It completely changed. These ashes will add up to uh, the soil nutrients. So it is. it becomes very good for a new plant to grow. Okay. And we talked about the negative thing about fire, the bad thing about fire that fires will destroy all the trees and as well as animals' habitat. As we said, the uh, bird house and the uh, wood baker house. Also, the coyotes left in fire burn area to look for new habitat. Look, this coyote is a predator and this predator now it will go to another ecosystem or another habitat to find new trees and new house. Sometimes they can be injured and they may die in the way. So yes, animals can die from these changes. Okay, boys, that was everything for today for the changes of the environment. Is there any question before we watch the video? No. 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 Are you are you sure? Yeah. Yes. So you are aware of the changes that can happen to our environment? Yes. yes. Okay, does these changes can affect the living things or not? Yes. How? Yes. Yes. There is a strong wind. Like, like strong wind. Uh a strong wind pushes the trees and the animals will die. Very good. Very good. Okay. Today, our main idea was about the changes that can happen to the environment and it will affect the living things. Next, all, uh, um, the rest of the week, tomorrow and after tomorrow, what we are going to do is we are going to learn more about these changes what are the changes what are other changes can affect the living things okay of course changing to the environment okay now let's say bye bye to recording and watch the video about our lesson bye 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 bye